Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can recover deleted files from your Android phone. Alright, and this is not any other gimmicky video that show you guys how you guys can recover from your um, recycle bin in your Android phone, right? But this is the actual tutorial to show you guys how you guys can actually recover deleted files that is not be able to recover all right and if you want to you know send your phone for data recoveries um you know those outside shops that you know, recover your phone it's going to cost you a large sum of money and your privacy is probably not being protected because you know all these people that recovers your files all your data all right they could probably see the the data that you want to recover and they can see the other data in your phone as well so it's really vulnerable and you know your privacy is not protected so today i'm going to show you a way where you guys can save a lot of money recover actual deleted files all right and also you can do it at the comfort of your own home without worrying about anyone seeing the other stuff in your phone and it is with the help of this software right here so this is the tenor share out data for android and i tell you this software is really a lifesaver for me you guys cannot believe how many times i've accidentally deleted my photos or my important files from my phone all right because sometimes most of that i will just start clearing out um old old files that probably i don't need to you know to save some space but sometimes you know i accidentally deleted all the files that is important all right and sometimes it's because some of the old files all right might not be important to me now but in the future i think i like um, you know, I want, I need it. I probably have some scripts that can be very use, useful for like similar videos, and I deleted them like you know, long long time ago. So um, yeah, if I want the recovery back, there's no way to recover it back because you know it's not in the recycle bin anymore. All right, so there's no backup of it. So um, yeah, but with this software right here, I'm able to recover any deleted files no matter how long ago was this so it's really really incredible and this is such a lifesaver all right and, and i think this software can also help a lot of people who accidentally deleted stuff probably like your parents or your kids accidentally deleting your stuff without you knowing all right and uh, yeah this one can really really save you so right now i'm gonna just show you to you how you guys can actually you know recover we're gonna do a live demonstration of me deleting the files from my Android phone right here, all right, and after that, <laughs> recovering it. So right now, let me just go ahead and show you the software itself, what the features it has, and after that, I will show you guys the live demonstration. So let's go. All right, so this is the software right here, and as you can see, all right, not only it can recover other kind of file from data recovery for Android, all right, they also can recover specific um, files for specific apps. So if you have like um, WhatsApp, this one they also have WhatsApp data recovery. Basically, if you use WhatsApp and you know, um, you can recover those deleted, lost photos, videos, or right, or any attachment from WhatsApp, and it also does support WhatsApp for business as well. They also can recover from the Google Drive, which is really awesome because I also do a lot of um, work on my Google Drive and this thing can be really really helpful as well all right they also have WeChat if you use WeChat this also also can uh, recover like contacts chat history and more all right from WeChat which is really incredible so if you have a specific app they want to recover from right here you guys can just choose from here instead of using the main one all right but today we are going to show you the main one because right now I'm going to just show you guys what's in my Android phone all right so uh, let me just open up my Android phone all right so let me just show you this photo in my gallery so this is the photo right here all right i'm going to delete it right in front of you guys so i'm going to delete it so it will say move to recycle bin so i mean just go to my recycle bin it's in my recycle bin but i'm not going to recover it i'm going to just empty it so i'm going to just empty my recycle bin and bam it's gone so there's no way of me of recovering back from my recycle bin so if i go to recycle bin it's gone so there is no way i am getting this photo back all right and i'm going to i'm going to sh um now i'm going to delete another uh, folder so if i go to my internal storage in my phone or if i scroll down there is this thing called important folder so inside there there's an audio file two excel files and one word document so right now let me just show you what's inside the excel file all right it is just um, some sam sample data right over here you guys can see all right so yeah these are really really important and for example if you are doing this and it took you so long time just to you know create all this Look at this, all the entries all in the Excel files. Imagine and imagine, you know, your all your hard work getting deleted. So um, yeah, because I am deleting that. Alright, let me just show you in the test book document as well. So those these are all samples documents. So these are what's inside the test book document. Alright, and uh this is the test sample or the Excel sheet. Alright, this is also a test document. Okay, and this is just uh um that's a recording I did uh, for one of the videos. Alright, so right now, I am going to just delete this 
important folder away. So I'm going to just delete this. All right, delete folder. So if I go down to my recycle bin, okay, apparently there is no recycle bin in this one. So um, so if I go down back to my internal storage again, the important folder is completely gone. So there's no way of recovering all the hard work, all the entries you see in the SQL folder. There's no way of recovering it. What should I do? Well, this is where this software come in really handy. So right now I'm going to just cancel everything. All right, I'm going to just plug in my Android phone all right, into the my PC. So I'm going to just plug it in right here. Okay, then I just um, click on always allow from this computer. So right now I just need to click on Android data recovery. All right. And you can select the file type you want to recover. Okay, let me just cancel this away. All right, you can select the file you want to recover. So they have all this. So if you have a specific file like actually accidentally deleted Excel documents only, you can just unselect all and just select the documents. But for me, I'm going to just put all, all right, because I have quite a lot of things. Maybe um, for me, maybe maybe because that's not I deleted, includes the audio file and documents and photos. So the call history, messages, Context and video, we're gonna just leave that out, right? For it to search it fast, faster. So for now, I'm gonna just leave this tree and click on start. Alright, so we're gonna just wait a while for it to, um, you know, gather all the information because on my phone, alright, it has a lot, a lot of old data that have been deleted very, very long time ago. Because this is the Galaxy S8, and the Galaxy S8 has been with me for over close to ten years now, over a decade now. Alright, I think back in don't know 2017 or 2018. Yeah, the Galaxy S8 was um, out, so um, yeah, I had that until now, so it's probably seven to eight years old now. So we have a lot, a lot of old data, but um, although now I'm speaking, it's also obtaining information actually quite fast, honestly speaking, all right? All right, so we could just wait, all right, you see, it's recovering all this, all, right, all my old photos. You guys can see this is me from probably like six years ago. All right, so you guys can see these are all the photos right, from six years ago, all right over here. You guys, can, you guys, you guys can see these are all old photos, alright? It doesn't look like me now, alright? So yeah, you can see um yeah a lot of like un 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 unglam photos, but um we gonna just wait for it. I, I probably need to blur out some of the things here because some things you know for privacy reason, right? But but you guys can see a preview over here. It's like all oh, these are like, old old photos of me, <laughs> and this thing really have been deleted for many years now, and. Um, looking back at it, it really gives me the reminiscence of it. Uh, we have audio file as well right over here. Look at all the audio files we have right over here. All, right, all this, all this right over here. All right, and we have documents right over here. All the Excel documents, all these have been deleted long, long time ago. And you guys can actually see the dates on it. You see, you can see that it's like you know, 2021, this is 2020. Uh, 2022, 2020. So it's finding all the recently deleted. This one is the recent one. This is the 25th text document. So um, I don't know when I deleted this. It was today, is it? Uh, I'm not so sure because I use this phone to basically do a lot, of, a lot of recordings because it has a headphone jack. This is the only phone that has the headphone jack, <laughs> and, and and that's why I'm using this phone for until now. Alright, for like um, recordings and shots. So you guys can see all the dates that it can have found. Alright, all the way back to 2020. Alright, um, audio. Alright, because um, the um, the reason. Oh, that's I, I saw one 2019. 2019 right over here. Okay, so it has finished um, recovering all the files, and as you guys can see, alright, um, there's so many photos, right? We have like twelve thousand six hundred and seventy-one photos inside here, alright, that have been recovered. All right, but you know, to find that specific photo, all right, I have to scroll through so many files to find. It will take, it will be very time consuming, right? That's why they have this thing right over here, so you can select data by all data, so you can select deleting data or the existing data. So currently, I have three hundred seven non-deleted data, all right, non-deleted photos in my uh, Galaxy S8. But I'm going to just filter by deleted data, all right? But I still have a lot of photos right over here. You guys can see, all right? But so we can. Um, use this filter function so we can have you know select so it's like the image source is you can choose between album fiber viber wechat all right or you know the the currently date how close it is all right and the select the size so um because this photo was taken just now all right probably like one day ago so i'm going to filter in less than seven days i'm going to keep the rest to all but if you know the size you guys can select certain size and filter them and voila it's right over here so this is the deleted photo as you guys can see 
All right, I don't know why there is two, but you can recover both if you want to. All right, I'm gonna just recover one. <coughs> so you guys can see that it's two over here, and this is the one that I deleted just now for this demonstration. It's right over here, so it can be found. So you can use the filter function, which is very, very convenient. All right, now, so now let's just go ahead and find back the file that I've deleted, all right, for the audio file inside the important file. So you can go, if I go to audio, there is 357 data right over here. So it's the, all the audio that I'm deleted. So if I look through, it's gonna consume my time as well so you know the purpose of this is to you know recover your files as soon as possible and not spending a lot of time finding where the file is so of course you can select by deleted data or existing data all right or you can just search for the name i remember the name starts something like six in one or something so uh, all you just have to do is probably find something that start with a six all right and there's a lot of things to start with six all right i saw it right here the six in one so this is the one that i deleted but if you if you know a specific one you can search in one it's right over here so this is the file that's been found so it's very very convenient you can just search for the name if you know the name if you don't know you unfortunately you have to probably search through everything all right or you just have to filter it obviously if you know like a certain part of name probably you can just, if you know like the in you know like there's an in inside here oh sorry if you know there's an in inside here, there we go, the in is over here. So yeah, you can search through, there's like an in inside here. So yeah, it's very, very convenient, right? And for the document itself, you guys can see there is so many things that have been deleted. All right, we have a few XML file. All right, we have a doc, the doc text file, X, uh, XSLX file. All right, but currently, all right, finance, all right, unfortunately, Unfortunately, they cannot find it in, in the documents, so probably it's classified in another kinds of um, day data. All right, but so for, for now, I just have to recover the photos and the audio for now. So I just need to click on recover to PC. All right, and just, um, you can, they also have this, like you can turn on photo enhancement. So if you want it to auto enhance for you, you can also do that. But for me, I'm gonna just keep it as it is. All right, and just click on okay. And you can select where you want to recover it. I'm gonna just put on desk, desk desktop. I'm gonna make a new, new folder called, um, let me just rename this. All right. Uh, S recovered. I don't think you guys can see it, but if I just click on recovered, click on okay. All right, I have recovered successfully. So um. So right now, uh, before I show you the recovered now, because the problem is, all right, I still cannot find back the Excel files and the Word document. So probably it's not inside here. So I'm just going on go back. All right. Okay, so for so as well, the files probably cannot be found on the first scan, alright, I'm going to just go back to here. I'm going to just go back to document. Let's go select documents only and just let it rescan again. So uh, we'll just wait a while and let it rescan. Probably like, you know, recently deleted one, it might not be showed up on your on memory storage yet. I have no idea how this actually works. I'm not really a technical guy, but um, probably we're going to just let it rescan again. Hopefully it can be fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I saw the, okay, okay. I saw a few already. Okay. Yeah, it's all over here. We got test sample X. SL XLS financial sample XLSX and test food. So these are the three that it was inside the important folder. If you guys remember the name, right, and if you can see the date it was deleted today. So the re the day I recorded this video, all right, it is it is found. So it's over here. You guys can see. So I can actually stop scanning already. So I can just stop scanning, or right, I can I can just select. Okay, where is it? Where did it go? All right, I I forget where I put. So I just put a test, and there we go. We have the test sample. That's the example, the one that's today, and we have this one, all right. So we can, and there uh, should be one more, the financial. Okay, so we're going to search finance, F-I, oh, sorry, N-A, financial. There we go, it's over here. So we found it, it was deleted today. All right, so we have selected three documents. All right, let me just show you guys. So I've selected three documents right over here. All right, to be recovered. Sorry, just recover it to my this PC. All right, um, I'm just gonna choose desktop. All right, because I'm not showing you guys here, right, but I'm selecting it because um, it contains a lot of private stuff. Uh, we're gonna just click on recovered. Again, just click okay, and it will be recovered to it. So it's okay. Okay, so let me just open up the recovered file. You guys can see. Oops. Right, let me just uh, show you guys the file over here. So this is a recovered file. You guys can see the out data for Android. So if you open it up, right, you can see this is the device data for the previously reco recovered file. So we have the audio and the photos right over here. So this is the audio that have been recovered. You guys can see over here. So the audio can also be played. All right. 
and uh, you can see the previous deleted photo is right over here so this is the image you guys can see it's also recovered so it's, it's the same image as I was deleted just now on and we also have the the excel sheet right over here you guys can see alright so this is the excel sheet all the documents unfortunately I don't have uh, 365 installed there's some issue with my Microsoft Office alright but uh, let me just uh, upload it to my Google Drive to show it to you. Alright, so let me just go to my Google Drive. Alright, to show you that this file can be opened, the recovered file can be opened. So let me just upload, push one of the files, probably just one of it will do. Alright, let me just push it in. Alright, and let's wait for it to be uploaded. So it's uploaded. Let me just show you. So it's opening Google Sheets. Alright, uh, and bam, so you can see all the data is all here. So it's all have been recovered. So it is really, really incredible. You can see all the recover files that have been actually recovered. All is right over here. Right? All of this. Imagine it's deleted all your hard work and there's no way of getting it back and it's right over here. So this is really, really a lifesaver. And uh, yeah, so all the files you want is all right. It's all has been recovered inside the folder. So they will classify it for you and the actual date. So yeah, it's really, really awesome. So as you guys can see the recovery process, it is very simple and it's very convenient. You have the search and filter function to really help you find the file that you want to recover instantly without you know scrolling through like probably tens of thousands of files. Imagine your storage is like probably you're recovering from your phone storage. Nowadays the phone storage can contain up to 512 gigs to one terabyte or even two terabytes, uh, which is really really high. Well, my S8 is already probably my S8 was 128 gigabytes. So um you know you know it. Is there's so many files inside here already because throughout your whole life, your whole usage, all right, is um you know, it has so many deleted files inside here already. So imagine if you want to recovering from a more recent phone, like probably like you know a new S twenty five, and you know, it's, it's one terabyte of storage. You go look through like tens and thousands, hundreds and thousands of files. It probably gonna take you a more than. Um, a few hours just to you know find the files you want. So it's really really tedious, which I love the sort, sort search and filter function, which really really helps you all right save a lot of time. So if you, this is a really really easy to use software, just plug and play, let it let it search through all the files. You can just sit back and get a cup of coffee after you're done with it. Just come back and find the files you want and recover it to um your your desktop or any other you know storage device or just direct recovery back to your Android device. So it's really, really awesome and really, really helpful too. So yeah, as you guys have seen, this is an actual working software and not any gimmicky software that you see out there. There's a lot of like gimmicky software out there that, you know, claims to be like, you know, able to recover, you know, your deleted data, but most of them are just deleting, you know, recovering from your recycled bin. So um, yeah, so this is a really, really useful tool if you really want to recover important files that, you know, your phone is either corrupted, accidental deletion, all right, or virus attack, crash update or you know on any other things that you know renders the file to be you know gone or you know um any or anywhere to be found all right this is a really really good tool for you to get back all the important files that you have gone so if you guys want to check out this software right here you guys can go ahead and check out the first link in the video screen down below and go ahead and download it for yourself for free so you guys can see you can just download it for free and this thing supports all kinds of phones, all right, no matter what brand you're using, all right, it can be supported. And as well as it also supports the latest Android 15 and as well as the older version, especially on my Galaxy S8 that I demonstrated. I think it's, it's on Android 8 or Android 9. So if you have older phone, this also works on them as well. So once again, if you want to check out this really amazing software that I've been using for a long time, super safe and reliable, you guys should definitely check out the first link in the video description down below and download this for yourself. So that's all for today, guys. If you find today's video really interesting and really helpful, all right, do give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want more tutorial like this or some video like this, you guys can also let me know in the comment section as well. And without further ado, this is JForce Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.